Hello my loves. I have a collective haul for you today. I've got stuff from Walmart, Fred's, and Family Dollar. So uh, Todd and I went and ran a few more errands today so I just thought I would show you all what I picked up and it wasn't enough for like individual videos. So okay um, so I'll start with Walmart first and the first thing I got I know this looks like really all jumbled and it's because it is. Um, I got this ankle brace by uh, Mueller and this was $12.97 and this is the maximum support one and um, I just thought I'd show it in case anybody might be interested. Um, I'm a runner and um, I'm training for a 5K, and um, I'm coming back after having a broken pinky toe, so I'm having to kind of, you know, I'm taking baby steps anyway, and I'm having a lot of pain in my left ankle. Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys this in case anybody is a runner or might be interested. Um, this is a really good brace, and I don't have the box that's in the car because I had to wear this today. But the bottom of it has, like, a more sturdy, um, this is, like, it's way more sturdy than just like a normal or regular bandage would be and I love that it wrapped in the figure eight so it doesn't wrap like around like this so you get like way more support with this so I that was definitely worth every single penny I was so glad I found that and then what else oh yes I got a Revlon color stay um quad eyeshadow palette and what is this color? It's in number 520 Brazen. I just thought those were really, really pretty for fall. And yeah, so I got that. Oh, and last but not least, I got some um, red velvet cupcake wax cubes. And these are by the Sensationals. And let me tell you something. This These smell divine. I mean... I went to get my favorite scent, which is, um, I think it's Walmart's brand, or I forget which one it is, but it's the, um, the Amber Cashmere, I think is what it's called, soft, um, so I let my husband decide, and he was like, uh, red velvet, hello, <laughs> so that's everything I got at Walmart, nothing too exciting, let's see, next I'll show you Fred's stuff. Oh, I don't have the packaging on this either. I've already used it. This is a brush for Wrigley, and it's actually by Conair. They have a line out called Conair Pet, and I just thought this was so stinking cute. It was a bit pricey for my taste. It was like um, $4 and some change, but I just thought it was so cute, and it comes in the packaging like, you know, human Conair brushes come in, so I just thought that was so precious, and it works really well. He's got sensitive skin, and this goes a lot easier on him, and he doesn't like pull away from me or jerk away because the other brush I have right now it's it hurts him so this is super super gentle perfect size too so I really really love this let's see oh it just fell out of the packaging I picked up a liquid eyeliner and this is by the brand um I think you say that Ioni so it's Ioni Cosmetics and it's just a liquid liner and I thought I would try it it was only a dollar and fifty cents and I did try some Ioni um, nail polishes back at the beginning of spring and I bought my little niece one as well and she liked it and I liked mine too. I got a pink color. So I thought I'd give this a shot. Let's see what else. Oh, I found this night cream. This is by Nicelle. Is that how you say that? I'm not sure. But it's a night renew alpha hydroxy and aloe anti-wrinkle cream. But I mean, I really just thought that it had some great ingredients in it. And I needed a new night cream because I just ran out of my Neutrogena. So I thought I'd give this a try. This was um, $2.99 here. This is for my Wrigley. It's just some of this uh, Vetscription, Sergeant's Vetscription, Benadine Hotspot Formula. Um, we're trying this for him. We've tried like a kind from Pet Sense. It's a, I don't know, if, in case you guys don't know, it's like a pet store that kind of sells things a little bit overly priced in my opinion, but some, some things have good deals on. But we tried out a pet, a hotspot foam from there and it was $9 and it was not worth a crap. So I took it back and this was $3 and I thought this might help him. Um, Anyway, you guys, do, does anybody know anything? Can you tell me a good product to use on Wrigley um, for really dry, itchy skin? Like, um, he's got all these symptoms right here. He's got those. 
believe it. Um, it's just, I, I just hate it. I know it's not comfortable, and I know he he would probably not mind to stop itching. So if you guys have any suggestions for me, I really would love to hear if you can recommend any products for me. Um, I've tried everything. So I've tried like home remedies, you know, oatmeal and the coconut oil I've tried on him. And yeah, so any, any suggestions I would really, really appreciate. And then, oh, I wanted to show you guys these. You know I had to stop for a snack. So, um, <laughs> we got some dill pickle sunflower seeds, and I got some bacon cheddar Snyder's pretzel pieces. These are both divine. They were so tasty. Okay, so last but not least, I'll show you what I got Family Dollar. This is where I got the most stuff. Um, of course, I got Wrigley some treats. These are Beef Eaters chicken wraps, and they're invisible. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but I went ahead and put them in his little treat jar. So that's what they look like. And they're actually pretty stinking healthy. I'll show you real quick. Um, the contents right there, the ingredients. Chicken, number one ingredient. These are really, really good. And these are only $2.25. I got this ankle support, which I actually am going to take back because I didn't wear it because I found that one at Walmart. This one was only $4, and um, I didn't even, I told Todd when I took it out of the pack, I was like, that's going to be a piece of crap, so I didn't even bother. And then I got this patella strap, which I needed as well, and it did work very, it worked very nicely. I think that was $4 also. I picked up these spa socks. I've wanted a pair of these for so long. And I found these in the clearance buggy. They're only $2.25. And they've got aloe and coconut oil in them. And they are so soft and just cuddly. And I can't wait to try these. It's Febreze. It's a sleep serenity bedroom mist. And I got the warm milk and honey. And you guys, this smells so good. I'm so excited I found this. Um, they had two other scents. I think one of them was uh, had lavender in it, of course. I'm not really big on lavender. but And then there was another one, and I forget. It was more of like a, um, it smelled like a bathroom cleaner to me. No offense if you like it, if you've smelled these. But this one was my favorite. So um, I love Febreze air fresheners. That's like the only kind I'll use. I really love them. They do work, so there's that. Um, little uh, plastic, what are these? Oh, snag-free elastics. Now, they're just like clear. There's 800 in here. These are by Rachel Rose, <laughs> whoever that is. But anyway, these are only a dollar. And then I also found these... Um, these head wraps, I thought that these look really cute. I wear these all the time when I work out or do my Zumba or go for a run or whatever. And just like around the house in general because I always have my hair thrown on top of my head. But these were also a dollar. You get six and these are by that Rachel Rose lady, whoever she is. But they've got like a metallic effect kind of, but not really. I don't know. They're, I just thought they were really cute. They caught my eye, so I picked them up. I had to. Well, I didn't have to, but I did anyway. The rest of this stuff is LA Colors. So I'll show you these polishes first. I really love these polishes. Um, I got two and I got one in the color. I forgot what this one was. Let me look. Sorry, loves. Oh, this one's called um, Dark Knight. And it is just a gorgeous, like, deep purple color. And I, didn't, I do not have a polish this color. Almost, but not quite. So it's just gorgeous. I love the color. And then this one I actually have on my nails right now, and I love it so much. I think it's really pretty. That's without a top coat, you guys. No top coat here, just the polish. And this one is in the color Pinkaboo, I think. Yes, Pinkaboo. So I thought that was cute. Anyway, I love the color. I really do. And I've never bought... Um, I haven't bought LA Colors. I have. I won't say I've never have, but I haven't in a long time. But something about these has changed. I don't know. Um, I, I like these. I really like these two colors. They caught my eye. Both of them did. Picked up a lipstick, which I have never purchased an LA Colors lipstick before. Not anywhere. Um, this is really, really nice. I have used it already. My swatch wore off. Oh, gosh. Let me do another one. Hold on. So there's a swatch of it. And uh, it's really... It's... It, I mean, I won't say it's like really moisturizing, but it didn't dry my lips out or anything. That's a crappy swatch, too. I tried, you guys. But this is in the color um, Coral Sheen. And um, I really like it. I really do. I think it's really nice. And um, 
I put it on like I didn't put any of my um like my lip balm on so that's without my lip balm I was already pleased with it and I just love the color um, it's by LA Colors Professional and it's a blush brush and I just thought this looked really good uh, so far <laughs> it does in the package anyway so I've never seen LA Colors Professional brushes but then again I don't really ever look for these kind you know I mean I, I don't know I use e.l.f. and like um, Bare Minerals or Bare Essentials brushes blah so <laughs> I, I'm gonna try it tomorrow we'll see and then I've never seen these before either. These both said they were new. I got some LA Colors Active Length uh, Salon Quality Nails. And there's 80 in there. And I just thought they looked interesting. And I wanted to try. And then they had the nail glue. It's um, drip proof nail glue. That is everything I got today. Um, I think it actually turned out being like more than what I thought. <laughs> I just, I guess I just thought since I got a few things at each store, it really wasn't a lot, but it kind of was. Um, so if you guys, again, if you want a review on anything, as always, just let me know and I'll be more than happy to do that for you. Um, thanks for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye.